Hello and Namaste. After the prerequisite of the beta function, that is the gamma function, we have already done with the gamma function, the definition, introduction and the different questions based on the gamma. Now gamma function is a base of beta function and we'll be starting from today's session, the beta function in detail. So today's session, uh, the this first session has been dedicated for the introduction of the beta function. Now what beta function B bracket comma M comma N is defined by beta M comma N integration from 0 to 1 x to the power M minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power N minus 1 dx where M greater than 0 and N greater than 0. Now this function or uh, this particular beta function is also known as Euler's integral of first kind. So looking at the different aspects and the introduction here, the beta function is also known as this Euler's integral of first kind and is important in calculus and analysis due to its close connection to the gamma function, which is itself a generalization of a factor, factorial function. Many complex integrals can be reduced to express uh, expressions involving the beta functions. The beta function is useful in computing and representing the scattering amplitude of reggae trajectories. The beta function is also important in statistics and for the beta distribution and the beta prime distribution. As briefly, uh, this beta function is closely tied with the gamma function and plays an important role in the calculus. So we'll be going ahead in detail for the beta function. Now this is what is the definition what we have defined. Let me let me just not put some time over here. I'll be I'll be putting this some time on this uh, definition whenever we'll be going for the problems based on the definition. So as in the uh, the introduction, we'll be going ahead. We'll be moving ahead with the uh, trigonometric form of beta function. Trigonometric form of beta function. So b beta m comma n is equals to 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 2m minus 1 x cos to the power 2n minus 1 x dx. Now this is known as the trigonometric form. So these are the two uh, different form forms. First is the definition. Second is the uh, trigonometric form of the beta function. They are very very useful in uh, solving so many different uh, kind of examples in the calculus and the mathematics. So proof for this particular so beta m comma n is 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx. This is as per the definition. This is nothing but as per the definition what we are going to use. So we will be going to prove this trigonometric form using the definition of beta function. Now at this particular definition if you observe we have got 0 to 1 as the limit in the definition wherein we need it here 0 to pi by 2. We need it here 0 to pi by 2 and we need to uh, bring this sine and cos into the picture whenever we have to take care of the substitution and that's the reason the substitution for this particular uh, um, trigonometric uh, form we need to have it x is equals to sine square of theta you'll come to know why we have taken sine square of theta so this is nothing but dx will be giving us 2 times sine theta into cos of theta d theta which is nothing but now depending upon our 0 to 1 is the limit for this particular definition but we are looking for the, de the uh, limit as 0 to pi by 2. So by taking x is equal to sine square of theta as a substitution what would happen to the limit when x is 0 theta becomes 0 when x is equal to 1 theta becomes pi by 2. And we have got the limit from 0 to 1 from the definition to 0 to pi by 2 by the substitution. And therefore, this particular definition becomes here 0 to pi by 2 sine square. So, x is nothing but sine square of theta. So, sine square of theta to the power m minus 1 into 1 minus x to the power n minus 1. So, 1 minus sine square of theta to the power n minus 1. Now, dx is 2 times sine theta cos of theta d theta. So, that is what we have replaced 1, 2 and three terms from the definition. So this is first, second and the third term using the substitution here. So after this step, we can just reduce it. So sine square of theta and 1 minus sine square of theta, 2 times sine theta cos theta. This can be reduced further sine to the power 2m minus 1 theta into cos to the power 2n minus 1 theta d theta, two times of course, and this 0 to pi by 2 as the limit. 
now this is this we have taken it as a substitution of theta if we wanted to have the similar or this type of formula here or you can say in the x so we'll be just replacing theta by x so it's not a substitution or remember it's not a substitution that's the reason just check this out this is not a substitution we have just trying to express whatever we have got the result in the given results or you can the uh, asked result here so therefore we have got this beta of m comma n is equals to 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 2 m minus 1 x cos to the power 2 n minus 1 x dx as the trigonometric form of the beta function now for this particular so now okay, again this trigonometric form can be molded as as we required right that means that means what whatever the demand of the question according to we can just move this that means for this particular i'll be uh, i have combined that in the, under the note so if we will be putting 2m minus 1 is equals to p and 2n minus 1 is equals to q therefore this m becomes p plus 1 by 2 and q is q plus 1 by 2 n is equals to sorry n is equals to q plus 1 by 2 and therefore this particular formula so this particular formula becomes here beta of p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2 is equals to 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power p theta uh, sine to the power p x into cos to the power q x dx so this is just a uh, just an example whenever and however we, uh, whatever the requirement we'll just have to mold so this is just i have tried to accommodate in the node now properties of the beta function first is the very very important property that's known as the symmetry of the beta function that is beta of m comma n is same as the beta of n comma n you can just check this out using the definition of a beta function it's a very simple result you can just go and see this as a using the definition second is relation between beta and gamma function so beta m comma n is equals to gamma of m into gamma of n upon gamma of m plus n which is known as the relation between beta and gamma function third is duplication formula third is a duplication formula what is the duplication formula gamma of m into gamma of m plus 1 by 2 is equals to square root of pi into gamma of 2m upon 2 to the power 2m minus 1 so this is what is known as the duplication formula and most of the time the definite the proof of this duplication formula would be asked as the answer as the question that's the reason I'm just trying to put it in the proof here. So beta of m comma n is equals to, so this is what is the definition what we have using here. In this definition, if you observe in the duplication formula, we'll be having this term, so gamma of 2m. And to get this particular, so that means what we have, this duplication formula is not having any n into it. It is only related to 1, that is m here. That's the reason we are replacing every n by m in this particular definition so if we we'll replace in that way we'll be getting beta of m comma m is equals to 2 times 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power theta cos to the power theta to the power 2 m minus 1 d theta what is it this is what we have taken uh, into the consideration and the trigonometric formula this is the definition in this formula we have we are putting this formula here and therefore after this uh, the form actually we have not used it here we have used here the trigonometric formula so trigonometric formula for the from the previous so this is what is the definition you can go ahead with the same thing here also but we will be going ahead with the uh this one here this is the trigonometric formula not the definition here so we have got gamma of so beta of m comma m using the second property we have replaced as gamma of m into gamma of m upon gamma of m plus m that is 2m which is equals to 2 upon now this is uh, if you observe here this sin theta into cos of theta can be replaced as 2 times sin of 2 theta. So 2 times that means 2 to the power 2m minus 1. That can be that that is that so it's it's nothing but 1 by 2 times right. Because we know that sin of 2 theta is 2 times sin theta into cos of theta. And that is what we have done it here. So it's 1 by 2 to the power 2m minus 1. 0 to pi by 2 sin of 2 theta to the power 2m minus 1 d theta which is nothing but now again here we have got sin of 2 theta we cannot write down the formula or we cannot write down into the gamma function or uh, this uh, simplification simplified further so we'll be going ahead with the substitution 2 theta is equals to t if we are taking 2 theta is equals to t that is d theta is 1 by 2 times dt and then what will happen with the limit if theta is 0 t becomes 0 
when theta is pi by 2 at that time t becomes pi and therefore this particular uh, integral just erase it from here so that it will just fine yeah so this is this particular equation becomes here gamma of m upon into gamma of m upon gamma of 2m is equals to 2 into 2 upon 2 to the power 2m minus 1 integration from 0 to pi this t, 2 theta is t so sine of t to the power 2m minus 1 into 1 by 2 times dt which is nothing but so we'll be we'll be just going ahead with this so this is nothing but 1 upon 2 to the power 2m minus 1 to 0 to pi by 2 so this sine t to the power which is nothing but into 1 1 is nothing but cos of t to the power 0 so this is nothing but is equals to 1 we have replaced as cos of t to the power 0 dt which is nothing but here again the same thing here if you observe here it's 2 times 1 by 2 minus 1 dt so if it we just wanted to have it this particular equation in terms of 2m minus 1 2n minus 1 in that fashion just to write down the beta function to bring this down in this particular format to get the beta function so this can be written as so this is nothing but 2m minus 1 2n minus 1 so n in this case is equals to here this is what is n here right so that that means what it's 1 upon 2 to the power 2m minus 1 beta of m comma 1 by 2 if we'll replace it with a with a this type of uh, you can say a relation between beta and gamma function we'll be getting this particular here so this is nothing but here we can have it here lhs is this rhs is this particular thing that gamma of 1 by 2 we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is equals to square root of pi we have got this square root of pi and hence we will just try to combine everything and just going to express this in the given format which is a duplication formula so this is known as the duplication formula although you can say a proof of the duplication formula most of the time this has been asked in the examination that's the reason i have given here the duplication formula most of the time they'll be just giving you the problems based on that but most of the time that might be asked as the question, one of the question that um, prove this particular. So you should be aware that this is a duplication formula and duplication formula proof is very simple. Just go about and let me know. Okay, so find the, the very simple question I just would like to address here. So which is just a beta, just like the gamma function which I have uh, taken into the consideration just to make you explain how to solve the gamma function the similarly we'll be going on solving a very simple which we are solving in this type of examples in between the questions so beta of 3 by 2 comma beta of 1 by 2 which is by this formula we can write down here as beta of so gamma of 3 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 upon gamma of 2 that is 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 addition of them is in the denominator we have done this using the property of a beta second property of a beta function and this is the another property of a gamma which we have already seen now we'll be solving the gamma functions further so get to reach the answer now this gamma of n plus 1 is equals to n into gamma of n now this gamma of 3 by 2 gamma of 3 by 2 just if you observe here gamma of 3 by 2 is nothing but gamma of 1 by 2 plus 1 and therefore this is nothing but here n and that's the reason it is n into n gamma of n so it is 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2 and this gamma of 1 by 2 as it is by 1 now it's nothing but gamma of 1 by 2 we know that gamma of 1 by 2 is square root of pi and therefore it's 1 by 2 square root of pi into square root of pi which is we are going to get it as pi by 2 for the value for this beta of 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 as the value as pi by 2 similarly for the second case beta of 4 by 5 and uh, 5 by 3 that is sorry 4 by 3 and 5 by 3 this is what we are going to just do it in this way that means what we are going to go ahead with this is gamma of 3 by uh, gamma of 4 by 3 that is gamma of 1 by 3 plus 1 which is 1 by 3 into gamma of 1 by 3 and gamma of 5 by 3 is 2 by 3 plus 1 that is nothing but 2 by 3 into gamma of 2 by 3 and if you'll observe here by this particular formula that is gamma of n into gamma of 1 minus n is equals to pi upon sine of n pi and therefore we'll be going ahead with gamma of 1 by 3 and gamma of 2 by 3 that means what this is nothing but 1 by 3 gamma of 1 by 3 into gamma of 1 minus 1 by 3 and we because of this particular we'll be replacing this as we'll be replacing this as equals to 1 by 9 into pi upon sine of pi by 3 which is equals to 1 by 9 2 pi upon square root of 
थ्री दैट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ साइन पाई बाई थ्री साइन पाई बाई थ्री स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ थ्री बाई टू विच इज गिविंग अस दैट इज टू अपॉन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ थ्री एंड बाई दिस वी कैन इजिली से दैट दिस इज अ टू पाई अपॉन नाइन स्क्वेर रूट ऑफ थ्री आज द आंसर फॉर द सेकेंड बीटा फंक्शन This is what is. This is the way we have to do it. If you are thorough with the gamma function, then beta function is almost similar. We have to just uh, do uh, previous one or two steps to reduce to the beta functions to the gamma, and we will be reaching towards the answer. Yeah, and this is what uh, all about the gamma functions and its introduction. Please be stay connected and tuned for the upcoming sessions of the problems based on. the beta functions so we'll be discuss discussing the problems based on the definition and the problems based on the trigonometric form of beta functions and many more different kind of examples thank you so much happy learning